What's going down, your boy DJ Fusion on your radio? It's the Friday Night Fire. We got a special guest on the line tonight, Jeremiah. What's going down? Fusion, what's the word, my man? Man, I got this hot new single. It's called Go to the Mo. What's the word, man? I'm loving this record. Man, I'm, it's crazy. Um, this is my first joint off my, my mixtape. I plan on releasing real soon uh, called Late Nights. Um, but you know where I'm from, Chicago. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a record that's been out for some years. Or should I say it's a remake of a record that's been out for years. And I just want to slow it down for the ladies. Uh, I think DJ Chip originally dropped it. It's called Go to the Mo. You know, um, where I'm from, uh, people use this actually a dance to it. You know, I'm just trying to uh, spread out from my hometown and just try to hit the world with this one, um, with the record, man. So far, it's just no feedback. I hope everybody out there like it as much as I did while, while creating it. And it's a really beautiful record. We're going to air it here in just a few minutes. Uh, for anybody that's just tuning in, we got Jeremiah on the line. You got a new mixtape coming out. It's called Late Nights. Yeah, dog. It's crazy. Um, you know, it's been actually two years since I, I released any body of work. My last, my latest album uh, through Def Jam has been, it was a record with an album called All About You. A big shout out to everybody that copied it. Obviously, Down On Me featuring 50 Cent. And I like featuring Luda with my singles off that. Um, but I just want to, you know, I think it's about time people get another round of myself. I'm not quite done just yet, even though you might have heard me on a lot of other people's records. I just wanted to hit people with some new, a new flavor for, your, uh, for, for, this, for this year, for this hot summer. Speaking of other people's records, I just had Travis Porter on the show, and they, <laughs> man. My dudes. They said you. Dude, man. They said you just blessed their album. Like their favorite cut on the new album is the one that you did for them. Yeah, you know we've been. We actually got a couple records. I actually met them when I'm um, kicking it with Big Sean out in LA one day, and ever since then we've been um, we've been cool. And I always want to do some, some joints with them. And we got another joint called Freaky Girls that was released on their tape. But definitely, man, I knocked out that hook not too long ago and they, they I think the night they got it they said they knocked it out and I, I had no clue it was going to be a single but you know uh, big ups to them for making it and their album is the stores too make sure y'all cop that definitely and that, that single ride like that it's actually in rotation here on Jams just oh, so great. you know man. Dope, man we dropped the video too y'all check it out it's online I think they just aired it on 106 and um, you can check it out on either my, my Twitter or even their Twitter you'll see a link somewhere around or even just google it man I think it's a dope video y'all should check it out Definitely, man. We are definitely going to check that out. For those just tuning in, we got the Mr. Birthday Sex on the line, Jeremiah. Uh, what? Who's the uh, producer for this that's, new record? That's my name for the grave, huh? Yeah, it could be, man. It could be, but <laughs> it could be worse, man. dude. It could be a lot worse. Who produced the Go to the Mo record? Uh, big shout out to the freshman. You know, I actually, I work with one producer for both of my albums completely that you all probably heard the store his name is Mick Schultz I met him he's, um, he, I met him in Chicago when I came home uh, but you know for this mixtape I actually got a chance to, to do a lot more work with other dope producers that are out here and um, you know uh, Go To The Mo is actually produced by The Freshman which is a group from um, Chicago uh, production crew and, uh, and um, you know big shout out to them for even giving me that record and giving me the, 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 the creative mindset to be able to do what I did to it so uh, y'all should check them out. I got a lot of, I got a couple more joints with them too for my album. Uh, and I actually linked up with you through another producer, a fellow Violator DJ, DJ Payne One. Uh, have you had a chance oh, yeah. to get any beats from Payne? Man, he gave me some joints. I'm actually, when I'm on a plane, that's when I really get my ride on. If I, you know, if I, if I decide to write, I know that ride like that, that ride like that record. Um, I actually had freed that hook, freestyled that hook. That's when I began to start just going in on records without having to write. But uh, I know Payne threw me some joints, and I know I was, I'm, I'm rocking with him. I just got to finish a, a couple of them up. Oh, man, shout out to DJ Payne One. Real quick to wrap this up, we got a brand new single. It's called Go to the Mo. I, I do it. For, I, I make my records for everybody, man. I make it for the ladies and for the fellas. I know what I want to hear when I'm dancing or when I'm in the bedroom or, or with my lady friend. And I know, I hopefully, you know, what I what I want to see a lady dance to. And that's pretty much what Go to the Mo feels like, you know. And hopefully it, it sounds familiar as my other records. And um, as, as much as hopefully you love them, man. You know, it's just a movement, man. Um, I really, people always ask me, y'all like, let's go to the mo, let's go to the mo. Because people really don't know the origin of what it really means. But back in the day, they used to say, go to the motel. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what <laughs> all it was. I, I, didn't, I couldn't really call it, let's go to the hotel. Because then, you know, it'd be called, let's go to the 
you know, so yeah. like, keep it, let's go to the mall from Chicago. That's that. That's what I rep, and um, that's what people are getting the chance to hear. Man, that's original. I like it. I wish you all the best of luck, all the, all the success, man. You deserve it. It's great to see somebody from the Midwest coming up. Let's let's wrap this up with letting people know, uh, you know, for those people under a rock and people that may not know who you are, how can they find you? Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, man, hit me up, y'all. Uh, I'm on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Jeremiah. Um, also, I'm still on Facebook. Um, we keep up with the latest of the videos and the photos and all that good stuff at facebook.com forward slash uh, official Jeremiah on Facebook. And also for those who help with the Instagram, it's the same at Jeremiah. No A. Um, I know a lot of people still get that. <laughs> it's pronounced. My name is pronounced, but it's just no A. And, um, you know, hit me up. I'm always on there. Thank you so much for your time, Jeremiah. Go to the Mo. Thanks.